will be Sigrid Borga, the Norwegian. And indeed, actually, uh, it's going to be Lydia Parada, the Spaniard. Here she goes, the long pull of that right arm. It's good. It's in the high 58s. Certainly a very good start there from the Spaniard. And he puts her in the running this time along in Berlin. Well, I'm Martin Gillingham. Alongside me is in this pool. Lydia Parada, then a four-time Spanish champion, asking the crowd who are in the stadium. And there are reasonable numbers, actually, right behind the... Uh, the javelin thrower's arm, asking them to get involved and give us some impetus, and she uh, roars that one over, but again, falls well short of 55 metres. So you're right, Martin, I think those uh, throwers who haven't automatically qualified from Group A, but through in the high 50s. Well, Martina Ratej, who has thrown 58-53 so far in this pool, that's the second best throw so far this morning. If nothing else, try and get beyond 59. Because that should secure her spot. It may prove to be enough, but at the moment, she's living very dangerously. A Spanish record holder. Just over 55. It's going to be a long wait over the course of the next 10 minutes. Oh. We shall see, I guess. 55 for Parada, 55 metres and 59 centimetres. Right to the morning session for you, Chris. Did you enjoy the, the 800s? were very competitive, weren't they? They were indeed. They were indeed. I enjoyed the tussle between Nafi Tiam and uh, Katharina Johnson-Thompson, particularly in the high jump discipline in the second. And uh, it was even Stevens, wasn't it?